Hey gang, Sally here. Thanks for stopping by today. Really appreciate that. Uh, just want to give you a heads up that the video that you're seeing today was actually shot about a year ago in 2022. Uh, I decided to go ahead and keep publishing the older content because I've been finding it really interesting in chronicling my experience to see the difference in how I was living a year ago versus how I'm living this year. I hope you find that interesting as well. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, if you think to subscribe, double check to make sure because YouTube has been spontaneously unsubscribing people from a number of different channels. Give us a like, uh, hit the notification bell, leave a comment down below, let us know what you thought of the video, and none of that costs you anything, but it all really helps out the channel and helps us get the recognition from YouTube that we're looking for. So, let's roll the intro and get right into today's video. Semis over 30 feet kingpin to rear axle not advised. paved surface but <laughs> the road ends like right at the white line in some places that's a little freaky for my fear of heights well we're down off the mountain back up to 55 miles an hour yay we are passing through Middletown which seems to be mostly uh, a couple of different fly trees the big hotel thing we passed in that group a bit ago some houses, some in better condition than others. That was an interesting uh, home on wheels. Home built home on wheels. Yes, yes. We're in Lake County now. Oh, we'll full speed that on the right there. Like the rocks. Rocks rock. When I got up to 55, I gotta get down to 30. Oh well. Alright, so this must be 
other traffic lights. Look at these cool buildings. They're cool looking. How about this for an expansive view, guys? Springtime in the mountains. We're heading toward the I-5. We're heading toward Williams, California. And of course, plenty more wineries still in this area. Very nice. So most of my driving today seems to be on two lane roads, which is fine by me. I really prefer that. But in 36 miles, I'm going to be hitting the I-5.
started off with uh, bonus propane at the tractor supply when I don't typically do RVs at that one. And uh, then I forgot to look for water while I was there to see if they had a spigot. So then uh, a while later, I found a shell just outside of Williams. Pulled in there, found a spigot on the side of their building, and I walked inside and asked if they minded if I put some water in my RV, and they said, no, that's fine. So I was able to fill up all my water, so that's good. And then uh, got diesel. Oh, I wonder what this is. Pretty sure that's private property. Pretty short, yeah, do not block it. Um, got diesel and forgot to throw my trash away. Oops. And then I uh, had also forgotten about needing to get air in my front left tire. So just before I was going to get back on the freeway, I saw a uh, tire shop. Went in there and, and the guy graciously, uh, I think it was actually a mechanic shop for the most part, I had a big Goodyear sign, but the guy graciously uh, put air in my tire for me. No idea what that is. Wow, this is pretty. And then I drove through the Safeway parking lot and dropped my trash off before I got in the, uh, on the freeway. Because, of course, part of what I was thinking is if I get to stay out here for two nights, I'm going to have more trash than I did like that. Alright, so Haynes Creek Crossing, no idea what that is. Perry Ripple, it's up this way, that's what I was heading for. Huh, ah, looks like we got somebody off road up here. In 600 feet, continue straight. Yeah, definitely looks like they're camped there. Continue straight. Continue for three quarters of a mile. Which they may or may not love, but we'll see. I mean, hopefully I can get in down here where I intend to. But this is gorgeous. Don't you just love springtime? Actually, I love all seasons. There goes a trail. Huh. I wonder what the point of the posts is. It's not like it's a fence. All those beautiful lupins on the side of the road. Woohoo! I'm gonna count this as a fine. I think it's gonna be a fine, fine. It might be crowded tomorrow if it's not already crowded. Since it's apparently a popular trail bed. But that's okay. In a quarter mile, you will arrive at your destination. That'll be awesome. Yeah, well, we're down to one bar now. That's not so awesome. You've arrived. All right. There's a big trailer. Bigfoot. It does not say no overnight parking. Well, as beautiful as it is here, and as peaceful as I thought it was going to be, 
first of all, we got this guy that looks like he's probably going to stay there for a while. But secondly, I got like one bar of signal. And even with the booster, that's not really going to do it for me. So, I'm going to go back up to this other uh, turn off that we saw that said 0 0.3 miles to something and see if that's any better. This is a disappointment. But, and it was very unlevel. I actually had to put leveling blocks under the front tires because they were off the ground. Uh, so I'm going to go back and try this other turn off that said 0 0.3 miles to whatever it was. See if that gets me someplace okay. And we'll go down and try this gravel road that says Paynes Creek Crossing. I think this is going to be a slow go. Because it's pretty ruddy right here. Actually, it doesn't look too bad the rest of the way. Ahead of me. Alright, let's see if we get lucky, huh? It's really beautiful. I'd love to be able to stay here for a little while. Target shooting prohibited. Nothing about day use there. Let's check over here on the signboard. This looks like it could be a find. I don't see anything that says day use only. Cool. Alright, we're calling this good. Well, this is where I landed. And in the meantime, I'm going to just sit down, relax, have a beer, get some dinner, and hope I don't get a knock on the door tonight. As I said, there's nothing marked here that says day use only. So we'll see. So the place that I had started out at, at uh, Perry Ripple, that one uh, very clearly says overnight camping allowed. Well, just a few minutes away from where I camped, is this lovely creek. It really is lovely. I'm not going to be crossing it though because I don't have any hiking poles with me and I don't want to be wet today. Uh, the trail continues along up there. I'm camped back up here. Pretty nice. 